Small neon fish will certainly become a decoration of any aquarium. These fish belong to the order Chirociniformes and are close relatives of the well-known piranhas. But unlike their predatory counterparts, neons are absolutely calm and peaceful fish that are unlikely to offend their neighbor. General information. Aquarists appreciate neons, not only for their ability to get along with most species in a common aquarium, but also for the unusual coloration of these underwater inhabitants. A distinctive feature of all neons is the presence of a special shiny strip along the body, which flares up in reflected light like a light. It is so bright that it resembles the lights of neon advertisements in the night city. For this, the fish got its name. Neons often become the main inhabitants of aquarium landscapes, aquascapes. Professional designers are very fond of neons for their small size, not distracting from the main picture, activity that gives liveliness to the entire design and indifference to plants that will retain their shape and beauty. The flocks of neons themselves look very impressive against the background of dense green vegetation. The question of why such a bright color of a small defenseless neon fish is needed remains unanswered. Perhaps this is necessary to establish a hierarchy in the flock, perhaps confusing predators who decided to attack a flock of neons. There is a theory that such light effects allow neons to find each other in the darkened water conditions typical of typical biotopes. Some aquarists believe that neons are capable of glowing themselves, but, unfortunately, this is a misconception. Stripes of neons only reflect and refract the light rays falling on them. Keeping neons in a home aquarium will not be difficult, the main thing is to create optimal water parameters for the fish, regularly maintain the aquarium, and feed it with high-quality food. Appearance. All neons are small schooling species. The size of fish rarely exceeds 4 to 5 centimeters. Neon males are smaller than females. The body is elongated and slightly flattened at the sides. The mouth is small. The fins of the neon are transparent, the anal fins are longer than the dorsal. Like other Harrison fish, neons have an extra adipose fin. It is an unpaired organ located behind the dorsal fin. It has no bone rays and consists of adipose tissue. Each fish has a longitudinal neon strip on its body, which reflects light and creates a glowing effect. It is formed by special cells, chromatophores, located under the scales. The neon strip in neon females has a small break in the middle, in males it represents a straight line. History of appearance. The natural habitat of neons is the streams and rivers of South America, Peru, Colombia, Brazil. Rivers, the top of the river. Amazons from a certain Sao Paulo de Olivens to Iquitos richly inhabit the river. Puchimeo and Arpurus do Boca do Tapa. As you can see, the natural habitat of neons is very distant and mysterious. That is why the chronicle of these fish in the aquarium world is quite young. The starting point of neons as aquarium fish can be considered 1935, when a French citizen O. Rebo discovered these neon fish in the waters of the Puchimeo River, eastern Peru. The discoverer August Rebo was delighted and surprised by the beauty of the red blue fish found, which prompted him to bring several individuals to the United States of America and Old Europe. A year later 1936. This species of extraordinary fish was studied and described by the American ichthyologist S. Myers. Germany is considered the second homeland of neons. This is due to the fact that the Germans were the first to breed neons in artificial conditions. At that time, it was a sensation, since neither in the United States of America nor in France did fish breed under artificial conditions. The German breakthrough in neon breeding was due, not so much to human merit, as to the presence in Germany of very soft water, which neon fish love so much. Red neon was discovered only in the middle of the 20th century. The descriptions were made in parallel by two scientists, Myers and Schultz. But the latter published his work earlier, so the name that he gave to the fish in honor of his friend the aquarist Herbert Axelrod stuck in the nomenclature. In 1963, Jacques Jerry discovered another type of neon, emerald neon, or neon simulator. The sample he caught was very similar to red neon, but further study led to the separation of these fish into a separate species. Jerry also conducted a systematic revision of neons and attributed them to the genus Paracheridon, as they are still called. For the first time, it was possible to get offspring from neons in captivity in Germany. This happened by a happy coincidence and was due to the fact that this country has very soft water, which was used to contain neons. At the beginning, neon spawning was called the German miracle, but the first studies revealed the mechanisms of the influence of water parameters on the reproduction of these fish. From now on, neons become available to all aquarists in the world. Nowadays, fish are massively grown on special farms in Southeast Asia. Although occasionally there are also supplies of neon savages caught in the natural environment. Habitat. The homeland of neons is South America. 
It is here, in the region of the basins of the Paraguay, Rio Tacuari, and Brazil rivers, that you can find these amazing fish in their natural habitat. Neons do not like fast currents and prefer to live in slow-flowing tributaries of large rivers, the waters of which are rich in humic substances, which gives them a brown tint. These rivers usually flow under the canopy of tropical rainforest, which creates twilight in the water. Decaying leaves, regular rains, a large layer of silt make the water soft and acidic. Views Blue Neon. Neon blue is the most popular species of the genus found in aquariums. It was this species that was first brought to Europe by August Rabbit, which caused the neon boom. You can also find other names for this fish, Ordinary Neon, Neon Tetra. They have a memorable color, a longitudinal neon iridescent stripe running along the entire body, under which is a bright red stripe stretching from the middle of the body to the tail. The average size of blue neon in the aquarium is about 4 cm. The fins are colorless. For keeping a minimum flock of blue neons, an aquarium of 30 liters or more is suitable. Optimal parameters for keeping, temperature, 23 to 27 degrees Celsius, pH equals 6.06.5, hardness, up to 12 dGH. Blue neons love established aquariums with stable water parameters. With a shark change, they can get sick. They can tolerate gradual temperature drops up to 18 degrees Celsius. Reproduction takes place in soft and acidic water, close to natural. For neon eggs, high rigidity is dangerous, the membrane becomes impermeable to sperm, and bright lighting, which is detrimental to the eggs. Neon gold. It is a color variation of regular neon. The body is golden in color with a metallic sheen. The shiny stripe characteristic of neons looks golden in reflected light. Turquoise edged eyes. Golden neons look very impressive in aquariums with dim lighting in a flock of at least 8 to 10 pieces. The maximum length of fish in the aquarium is 4 cm. Not aggressive, suitable for keeping and other peaceful species in the general aquarium. Keeping and reproduction is similar to blue neon. Neon brilliant, or diamond. Another selective form of blue neon. The body is moderately elongated and laterally flattened head with a blue tint. On the sides, at the level of the dorsal fin, there is a red matte strip extending to the tail. The main body of the diamond neon is silvery with a bluish tint. The maximum size in an aquarium is 4 cm. Sexual dimorphism is not pronounced. For maintenance, an aquarium of at least 30 liters is required, which has both dense thickets of plants and open spaces for swimming. Optimal parameters of keeping the animal, temperature, 22 to 26 degrees Celsius, pH equals 5 to 7. Hardness 5 to 10 dgh. They are distinguished by territoriality, they are able to drive away uninvited guests from their favorite place. Vela Neon. Another form of blue neon. Does not exist in nature, bred by careful selection. A distinctive feature is the presence of highly developed fins, similar to a thin veil. Fish are quite rare and cost much more than regular neons. The conditions of keeping do not differ from blue neon with one exception. When keeping fish with such long fins in an aquarium, it is better not to use decorations that can catch on. It is also necessary to approach the choice of neighbors more carefully, many, even peaceful, fish are able to bite off the fins of veiled neons. Ideally, fish should be kept in a species aquarium. Neon Red Of all the members of the genus, red neon stands out as the brightest. Unlike blue neon, under the characteristic glowing greenish-blue stripe is a wide crimson stripe that stretches along the entire body. The body is slightly elongated and flattened at the sides. The color of the shiny back is olive green. Large flakes of red neon stand out well on the glowing strip. The eyes are bluish green. All fins are transparent. On the dorsal and anal fins, a blue-white edging can be found. Compatibility. Perhaps, neons are one of the most peaceful ornamental fish and will become good neighbors for other peaceful medium-sized species. They will live equally well both with guppies and other viviparous fish tooths and with cardinals, risbora, tetras, barbs, corridors, ancestors. Of course, you can't plant neons with predatory and territorial fish. Their glowing strip acts on such species, like a red rag on a bull, and most likely neons will very quickly become someone's lunch. It is also not recommended to contain neons with large fish, for example, gold. If the neon can fit in the fish's mouth, it can be eaten. The only time when neons can be aggressive is spawning, but it is better to place pairs ready for breeding in a separate spawning aquarium. Feeding. Correctly selected food plays a huge role in the life of fish. It should be nutritious, containing all the essential vitamins and minerals, and in a form that is easy to eat. Neons are small fish that prefer the middle and lower layers of the aquarium. Tetrafeeds are perfect for their nutrition, breeding. 
Despite the fact that aquarists could not uncover the secret of successful neon breeding for a long time, there is now access to a lot of information about proper spawning, so with a little preparation everyone can reproduce neons. Breeding of neons must be closely monitored so as not to endanger the eggs. Producers need to be transplanted into separate containers in a few weeks and fed intensively with high-protein feed. Weekly expressed sexual dimorphism in the usual time is replaced by more distinct sexual differences, females are rounded in the abdomen, and in males the swim bladder is displaced to the anus. Before planting a pair of neons for spawning, it is advisable to arrange them a few short dates so that the fish get used to each other. The female is able to postpone the game weekly, while the male is ready to fertilize her two times less often. The minimum aquarium volume for neon spawning is 30 to 50 liters. The ground is optional. For maximum egg survival, stable water parameters are required. The temperature must be raised to 25 to 26 degrees Celsius. Water is used soft, 2 to 4 degrees DGH, and slightly acidic with pH equals 6.5 to 7. Several branches of Javanese moss can be used as a spawning substrate. It is best to put ready-to-spawn neons into the aquarium a few hours before turning off the backlight. Two males are usually added to the female, who begin an immediate attack on the female. A more agile male will participate in breeding. The pair hovers over the leaves of living plants, where the female randomly lays eggs, which are fixed on parts of the plants. After the end of spawning, the producers must be removed so that the eggs do not suffer. Not every egg is destined to emerge fry. Many of them will not ripen, some will suffer from the fungus. After 9 to 10 hours, all spoiled eggs must be removed from the aquarium using a pipette. You can also use antifungal medications to conserve as much caviar as possible. Incubation ends in a day. The larvae that emerge from the eggs are already able to swim in the upper layers of water for several days. Cyclops, ciliates, high-quality dry food are used to feed the fry. When the fry grow up, it is necessary to move them to a more spacious aquarium with a slightly higher rigidity and a temperature of 24 to 25 degrees Celsius. Price Most neon tetras are also captive raised. This makes them more available, as they do not have to be sourced from the wild. Because of this, their price is lower than that of the cardinal tetra. Neon tetras are most likely to be sold at $1-$2 per fish.